My mother was born in Mytilini, an island in Greece, in a village called Plomarion. My mother was like a very unhappy, depressed woman because I think she was unprepared for coming to a strange country and marrying my father, who had problems with drinking, womanizing, and not really putting the family first. And I think that made her very unhappy. Living with my parents was quite emotional because it was unpredictable. If my father was working and there was money in the house and food on the table, things were calm. Everything was lovely. But when he was not working or he was away from the family and who knows where, uh, then there was tension. The way I um, dealt with being a good Greek girl and being the rebellious teenager I was was not easy. It was, it was always like there were two parts of me. The one part that loved my mother, wanted to please my mother, and yet not feeling Greek at all. And the other part, the American one, was the wild rebel one who enjoyed so much being with my Puerto Rican boyfriends and being with my friends in the library. And, and they conflicted in such a way that it took a long time for me to reconcile that I am both. I'm not the good Greek girl, but I am a, a good Greek woman and a good American woman as well. It wouldn't be until many years later, when I started writing about my mother, that I would see her character change from all dark and evil to something more nuanced. Leaving home in my family was, I think, the object that we all wanted to achieve. How do we get out of this insane asylum here? Uh, it certainly was for me. I think that I found a way to leave with the help of this social worker. And it was in stages. From this wonderful woman, who I still miss, uh, that I was able to find a way to that door to freedom. <laughs>